Hi everyone! How are you all doing today? Good? Good. I don't know where all of you are, but for me here in Thailand, it's burning hot. So before we begin, let's all take a big gulp of water to hydrate ourselves a bit. Okay, good. Let's begin. So several months ago, back in February, some of you might know that I made my first ever purchase from Rosemary & Co., a British company that specializes in making paintbrushes. I ordered one of their natural hair seconds bundle. If you don't know what those are, it's basically their way of clearing up their stock by selling brushes that don't pass quality control or some with minor defects, things like that. This year, it was something like 94 US dollars for a bundle and an extra $20 for shipping. Not gonna lie, that's extremely expensive for me, but I thought about it as an investment. Because they were getting lots of orders from the sale, I think it took about five days before they actually shipped my order, and then it took about a week to arrive. When it did arrive, immediately I noticed that the box was very unique with Rosemary's image on the front printed in black and white. When I opened the box, the first thing I saw was this handwritten note. Surprisingly, it was signed by Rosemary herself. I had noticed on Instagram that other people posted pictures of their orders and cards. Most that I saw were signed by Simi, Rosemary's daughter. So I found it very refreshing that Rosemary herself actually took the time to write these cards as well. Next is a circular sticker and a piece of cardboard. This piece of paper just details my order. Under that is their product catalog. You can get the catalog for free. Watch my video for more info, link below. And finally, we reach my bundle of brushes. I only ordered just one bundle, but they've separated the brushes into two groups, sealed in plastic sleeves, which were then taped to a piece of cardboard. I think this was a wise step in packaging as it helps keep the brushes' tips from too much damage from rattling around the box too much. I received a total of 15 brushes for this bundle. Before we move on to look at each of the brushes more closely, I wanted to mention a few things. When ordering a seconds bundle, you really don't know what you'll be getting, but you're able to at least leave a note for them. I had specified that my medium is watercolor, and the following was the note I left for them. Live chat it with Simi, first time buyer, florals, architecture, love quills. Feel free to include synthetics and blends. So keep that in mind while I show you the brushes. And I'll also be showing you what sort of minor defects these brushes came with, if any exists. I'd like to invite you to follow along with me and rate these brushes according to your own satisfaction if you were to have ordered a natural hair bundle and received what I did. Let's get started. This first brush is the largest from the bundle and doesn't have any info on the handle, but I'm quite certain that it's a pure squirrel mop brush. I measured the bristles and got 40 millimeters in length and 16 in width. It doesn't seem like they offer a brush of these dimensions, so I assume that's why the brush made the seconds pile, just because the dimensions weren't accurate. That said, it's almost the same size as their number 10 brush. For such a large brush, I was very surprised it came to a beautiful fine point. There were no other defects that I was able to observe, but after painting with it several times, I noticed a black thread poking out of the ferrule. It's very minor and I wouldn't have noticed it at all if the light didn't shine on it at the perfect angle. Personally for me, I love any brush with a quill ferrule and love squirrel hair and mop brushes. I give this a 10 out of 10. Next, we have this number four pure squirrel mop. This one is absolutely flawless. I'm not able to see any defects on this at all. It's a similar size to my Raphael number two squirrel mop, but this one has a longer handle. I'm not used to the longer handle, but I've been painting with it for a while now and it's growing on me. The handle actually has Rosemary's logo on it, which I'm really happy about because I think that's what makes their brushes unique in a way. 
10 out of 10 for this one as well. Here we have the 3 quarter inch long filbert from the Red Dot collection, which is their range of brushes made with synthetic sable hair. Apart from the label on the handle being slightly incomplete, this brush is still in perfect condition for me. 10 out of 10. Next is this number 2 Pure Squirrel Pointed Round. I don't do a lot of detailed painting, so I wasn't too excited about this one. However, after testing it out, I was amazed at its high water holding capacity. I mean, of course, it's a squirrel brush, duh, but still, I didn't expect it from such a tiny brush. Again, no defect whatsoever, completely perfect condition. I sometimes wonder how these brushes made the seconds pile. Maybe they're just old and have been in stock forever? Who knows? 10 out of 10 for this one as well. This next one is their number 5 triangular pure sable. Their website says, the series 98 pure sable pointed rounds are offered on a triangular shaped handle. These have proved extremely popular with our disabled customers, particularly those who suffer from arthritis as well as miniature painters who like the feel of the handles when holding for long periods. An added bonus has to be they don't roll off the table. This series only goes up to size number 6. Mine is number 5, so this is about as big as it goes. Nothing wrong with this brush as well. I think I used this to paint that elephant piece and I was pleasantly surprised as to how comfortable the triangular brush was. This is definitely one of the brushes that I would never have thought to buy for myself. This one receives a 10 out of 10 as well. So far so good! Next, this tiny number 0 pointed sable blend. The only little thing I saw is that there is a small piece of black thread that has been accidentally varnished onto the handle. Other than that, it looks to be just fine. Since I'm not much of a tiny brush person, I give this one an 8 out of 10. Here we have the number 4 Kalinsky Short Flat. It seems fine, but if I'm really looking for why it made the seconds pile, I think it might be because the tip of this brush seems almost like a comb brush. Not exactly flat, not exactly a comb somewhere in between. The handle label is also a bit incomplete. I don't have any small flat brushes, so I've been trying to find ways to incorporate this into my painting process. 10 out of 10 for this one. Again, just to remind you, these aren't scores for the quality of the brushes, but my own scores of how satisfied I am with each of the brushes. Another large brush. This one is number 8, Long Filbert from the Master's Choice range, made from a blend of male and female badger hairs. It's popular for use in oil painting. The only problem I see with this brush is a little glue peeking out of the ferrule. Other than that, it's in perfect condition. Later, there will be more of these brushes meant for oil painting, so I'll rate them all together at the end. Next, we have a quarter inch Sable Flat Series 725 with a dark pink handle. I don't see anything wrong with this brush, however, I couldn't find it in their catalog or their website. So I assume maybe this series has been discontinued. 10 out of 10 for this one. The next six brushes are all similar in that they only have Rosemary & Co. printed on the handles, so I could only guess what brushes these are. It seems like the handles had something else printed on previously, then they covered it up with black paint and printed Rosemary & Co. on it. Some of them also have glue residue sticking out of the ferrule. I believe one is a rigor brush, another is a micro brush. I give those 8 out of 10 because like I said, I'm not a tiny brush person. I think this white bristle brush is a long flat from the ivory range. Then these three brushes, I guess, may be from the eclipse range. I would give a 5, 6 out of 10 for those last four brushes, as well as the number 8 long filbert earlier. I don't know about you, but personally, I didn't really expect to receive brushes meant for heavy body mediums. 
but I was happy to keep the brushes because I did the calculations and this bundle would have been almost $200 at full price. So it's like I got 50% off for this purchase, if that makes sense. I did contact the company though, asking about those brushes and how I could use them with watercolor. They gave me some great tips and pointers, so I was satisfied with that. That said, I did speak to some friends when I got this bundle and I have a friend who paints miniatures and uses oils and acrylics all the time. Long story short, they offered to buy several of the brushes from me and I was happy for them to go to a good home. I sold them these 8 brushes along with several other ones from my brush collection. And I kept these 7 brushes. All in all, I'm happy with my purchase and my friend is also really happy to have rosemary brushes to try. Would I purchase another bundle in the future if they were to have it on sale? In a perfect world, definitely. I think it's great value. But considering that my brush collection is growing fast, I might not buy a whole bundle for myself but maybe split a bundle with a friend or two. My friend paid me in brushes, so these ones on screen here is what I got. I haven't tested all of them out yet, but I'm already loving all the quills and the sword brush. I really wish you guys could try them, and I know the main factor for people's hesitation is the shipping price on their website. They already have some products on Jackson's, and I wish they would put more on. Of course, it'll mean the price of the product would go up a bit, but we'd all be able to buy other products on Jackson's to average out the shipping cost on there too, right? If they were to add more brushes to Jackson's, comment below which brushes do you think would be popular among watercolor artists, or which brushes would you realistically buy? Anyway, I'll put links to all the products below should you be interested to purchase them individually. As I understand it, Rosemary only offers these seconds bundles once a year towards the beginning of the year. So if you're interested in getting a bundle for yourself, follow them on Instagram to keep updated. I do remember Simi saying something about maybe not having these brushes for sale anymore in the future since they only started offering it due to COVID. And now that circumstances are improving, they're able to sell brushes in person and in workshops much more easily. So I'm not sure if they'll be offering it in 2023. That's sort of why I haven't been quick to post this video. Feels a bit silly posting about a product that might not be available. But I don't know. My spidey senses tell me that there's a good chance they'll offer it again. Well, that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching my long video and staying with me till the end. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.